Guys, I'm really excited about this video today. Today is gonna to be a crash course in how to get your Doberman to understand your commands. Man, don't you just wish that we lived in a world where we could strap on like a headset to a computer and have the computer just download every little bit of Doberman knowledge that exists out there in the world for you to tap into anytime you needed it? Yeah, this video is gonna be as close to that as we can possibly get. So this video is gonna be a little fast paced guys, but I think it'll be a whole lot of fun and hopefully very useful for you. Look, the methods of training that I'm teaching in this video right here um, are kind of methods that I've refined over the years to be the most effective with a Doberman breed specifically. Mostly I've learned these through trial and error, kind of what works best for Dobermans and then refining it from there. Um, I'm always learning though, I'm never perfect. So I may refine these further in the future, but right now this is the best knowledge I have on how to teach these basic commands uh, to your Doberman. So hold on tight, let's get going. All right guys, we're gonna talk about how to train each individual really important command like sit, stay, lay down, that kind of thing in a second. But first I wanna tell you uh, a couple primer points that I really want you to know before we jump into this each individual command. The first is a general approach on how to teach a Doberman pretty much anything. There's one simple formula that seems to work no matter what you're teaching them. And when you understand this, honestly, the sky's the limit. You can teach these dogs to do just about anything. So the general approach that works amazingly well for this breed is to first start off in your training by giving them a verbal command of what you're trying to teach them with a visual cue. Dobermans love that visual cue. They are so focused on their owners they, they can see your body language, they take note of your body language, they react to your body language. So a verbal and visual cue when you're trying to teach a new command, um, and you gotta stay consistent with the, what that visual cue is. Then uh, elicit the desired response. The third one is praise and reward um, once they've even partially completed that response that you're asking them to do. And then the last step is to repeat these steps with each command, but setting the bar slightly higher each time that you do this. So with Dobermans, this works amazingly well because they love that visual cue. It, it reminds them of what you're asking them. And also they're thinkers. You set that bar a little bit higher each time. It's like a puzzle toy to them. They are trying to figure out what they need to do the next time to get that praise and reward. So follow these basic steps, no matter what you're teaching your dog and you should do really, really well. All right, the next point that's really important to understand before we jump into this is the biggest hurdle that you're gonna have teaching this stuff to a young puppy is simply gonna be uh, distractions and keeping their focus. As they mature, they're gonna get a lot better at this, but when they're young, the world's an exciting place, there's plenty of distractions, even in a seemingly boring room for you. It's, with this, the Doberman breed, it's not gonna be intelligence that's gonna hold you back, it's not gonna be desire to please, none of those things with Dobermans. It's just gonna be maintaining their focus when they're young. So just keep that in mind. Maybe start off some of these commands in a place with very few distractions, and as they get better, then you can move into areas with uh, more distractions. Okay, and the last important thing is mindset. I really want you guys to just focus on your mindset for one second. You ever heard the term act as if? <laughs> um, even if this is your first dog and you're a little unsure how to approach this, just act as if you know what you're doing. Uh, plan out as much as you can ahead of time, definitely, as far as how you're gonna approach training each of these commands. But then, you know, just act as if you know exactly what you're doing, you're confident. You know, Dobermans are smart and intelligent enough. They'll fill the gaps where maybe your technique is lacking a little bit. They'll fill that gap. They'll be able to figure out what you want. Don't worry about that. What you need to worry about is them being intelligent enough to see you switching up your training routine partway through and taking advantage of that and saying, aha, this, my owner is not confident. I can maybe uh, get the upper hand here. So just act as if you know what you're doing. You got a little bit of a plan, stick to it. Don't worry, your Doberman's smart enough. He'll fill in the gaps. Okay, now that you got your primer, let's jump into teaching each individual command that I think is most important for your dog to know in the beginning. Now, this is the crash course part of this video, the cliff notes, so it's gonna be coming at you kind of fast. It'll be a little fast paced, but I think it should give you a great idea on how to uh, go about training each of these individual commands. And for the sake of this video, we're gonna use my puppy Arlo here. He's just under five months of age, and I think he's a great subject for this video because he's still kind of getting, he's still learning some things and he still does mess up from time to time. All right, so the first command is sit. This is probably the most important command also, and one of the easiest to teach. 
Uh, so start by having a treat in your hand and letting them smell the treat. Hold it about a foot away from their head, move it up over their head towards the rear end. As you're doing this, give the verbal and visual cue. So I like to say a firm sit and I point at the rear end as the visual cue. They're naturally gonna wanna put the rear end down as their head goes back to try and look at the treat. When their butt hits the ground, immediately praise and reward them. It looks a little something like this. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Look, look. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Now the next one is stay. This is also really important uh, for teaching other commands. To do this, show them a treat in your hand, let them sniff it, make them sit. Hopefully they've gotten a sit command down now. Um, once they sit, give them a strong verbal and visual cue. I like to say stay and I put my hand about a foot away from their nose. Pause for two or three seconds, then give them the treat, praise and reward. You're so close to them that they, with your hand, they really don't have a choice but to stay there until you move your hand and give them the treat. Now, each time you repeat this process, up the bar a little bit higher, just like we talked about before, to get that praise and reward and get that treat. So next time, maybe pause them for four or five seconds or six or seven seconds. Then next time, maybe back up two or three feet. Maybe back up a little further, another foot or two, another half foot, just keep going back. Your dog will slowly get better at this. This is one of those uh, commands that takes a while for them to get uh, exceptional at, but they can grasp the basics of it pretty quick. It looks a little something like this. Right here, right here. Sit, stay. Good boy, good boy. Right here, come here, over here. Sit, stay. Okay, good boy, good boy. Now the next one is to lie down. This is also really important for a lot of other training down the road that you might do. So start with your dog in the seated position. Let them see or smell the treat that's in your hand. When you do this, now say down and point at the ground right in front of them, even maybe touching the ground. Use the hand that has your treat all the way to the ground. They'll be naturally wanting to smell that treat. Put it really close to their legs, really close to their chest, they'll naturally want to move their head down and lay down in the, in the lay down position. As soon as they hit the ground, your hand is like a trap door. As soon as they're laying down all the way, boom, it opens up and they get the treat, then praise and reward. Now, each time you repeat this process, make it a little bit tougher. Now back up a, a, a foot or so and try to do the same thing. Point down at the ground and say down. And uh, when they hit the ground, trap door, your hand opens up, gives them the treat, you praise and reward keep backing up or maybe have them go down and then incorporate the stay command that they should now have a little bit of a grasp on and have them stay for a few seconds and then give them the treat and reward. But this is how you do the down command. Sit. Down, down. Good boy, good down. Sit. Down. Good boy, good boy. Now the next one is off. Now don't confuse this with down because you have two commands that can be similar, right? You got off and down. Down should be when they lie down. Off is when they're on something like a couch or bed that they shouldn't be and you want them to get off. So don't confuse them. Uh, stick to whatever command you pick. I use down for lie down. I use off for getting off of things. So. Uh, Really, this one is pretty easy to train. The dogs are really smart. Just incorporate this into your daily life. If they're on something they shouldn't be, on a couch or on a bed, just uh, come up, walk up to them confidently, say off and point to the ground right in front of them and then guide them off of whatever they're on. Um, after some time of doing this, they should start getting off on their own. You can definitely reinforce this with some dedicated training sessions and some treats, but, um, and, and I do that on occasion and practice that. Uh, but once they get off, praise and reward. Give them the treat if you have it, um, but definitely praise and reward them. If you do do a dedicated uh, training session, it's gonna look a little something like this. Off. Good boy. Yes, right there, right there. Good boy. Good boy, yes. Now the next one is the come command. Now this one should be pretty easy if you've now taught your dog sit and stay. So start by getting them in that position, the sit position, show them the treat in your hand, have them stay, 
and then back up a little bit. Now, when you have a small distance between you, uh, clap your hands, uh, pat your side, whatever you need to do, show them the treat, say come in a firm voice and point at the ground right at your feet. That's your visual cue. Once they come over from your encouragement, give them the treat, praise and reward. Now repeat this and set the bar a little bit higher each time. Next time, maybe back up a little bit further. Maybe back up a ways and then pause for a minute and then say come. Keep repeating this until they get better and better at this. Now, if they are having a problem getting a handle on this, it's one of two things. Either you don't have the right motivation for them because you know not all dogs are treat motivated. Most are, but not all. Sometimes you'll need uh, their favorite toy. You'll need just lots of praise and love, whatever it is to motivate them. Or you're in too distracting of an environment and you need to start in an environment that's a little bit more boring for your dog. Keep upping the bar each time until they really got this command down. It's gonna look something like this. Sit, stay, come. Good boy, good boy. Sit, stay, come. Good boy, good boy. Now the next one is a leave it command. This one's really useful and could even save your dog's life in certain circumstances. Now to train this command, I like to use one boring treat and one exciting treat. For the boring treat, I'm gonna use Arlo's piece of, uh, piece of kibble from his food that he gets with every meal. And for the exciting treat, I'm gonna use uh, a piece of his juicy training treats that I use. Um, so for this, have him sit and stay in front of you or right in front of the dog, show them uh, the hand with a boring treat in it. Give them a firm command of leave it with your fist closed. They'll sniff at it for, for a few seconds. Once they get bored and they stop sniffing at it, look at you, praise and reward them, say good boy, and give them the juicy treat. Do not let them ever get that boring treat in your hand. If you allow them to get it, you've kind of failed this uh, process. So next time, try to see if you can uh, open your hand a little bit while saying leave it. And uh, if they stop sniffing at it and look at you, praise and reward them like crazy, giving them, giving them the juicy treat, the one that they really like. And keep ratcheting this bar up as you repeat. Uh, you can set the a boring treat on the ground if you can get away with that and say leave it um, as you progress or set the treat on the ground and back up saying leave it. You can keep rashing this up further and further and only giving them the juicy treat when they do what they're supposed to do. So just remember, don't let them get that boring treat or you failed this training command. This is what it looks like. Stay, leave it. Good boy, good boy, yes. stay. Leave it, leave it. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Now the next one is a release command, which really is something that there's not a really a exact step-by-step -step guide to teaching. I found it's just great to incorporate it in your daily routines with normal things you do with your dog. A release command tells your dog that you're done asking them to do whatever you're asking them to do and they can just go and run free and be a dog now. Um, so. Uh, I like to use the word okay because this is something that I just naturally say to my dog. A lot of people don't like to use that for a release command because the word okay is used in your normal speech so often. So other people sometimes prefer the command release or the command break. Uh, any of those can work. Whatever you pick, just pick one and make sure you stick with it. And anytime you're working through these training things and, you want to, and you're finished asking him to do whatever immediate task you've asked him, say the release command and then show them with your body language that you're relaxed, you're petting them and playing with them, and there really aren't any rules at this point. Just incorporate that into your daily process and you should be good. Sit, stay. Stay. Okay. Good boy, yeah. So guys, there are many different tricks and like little tweaks and techniques that you can use, especially to get things back on track if your dog's just behaving in a way that you're not expecting while training these commands. And you know, I'm working on a really cool resource for you guys that is gonna be more all-encompassing than this video, but this video is just meant to be a crash course for you. So hopefully this gave you a solid basic understanding of teaching these commands. And if you're as crazy about the Doberman breed as I am, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Um, I'll keep giving you these tips tricks and hints to make your life with your dog way better. Um, and you know, I hope you got something useful from this video. It just means the world to me when I know you found something useful, even if it's just one or two nuggets. So leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like this video or not. And uh, of course, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.